The top five most important components of an electric car. For many people, the battery will come in the top two and won't be second. The battery is very important because that is where the energy to move the car comes from. The EV industry has settled for the lithium-ion battery, but the battery has several drawbacks that do affect EV performance. To beat the competition, many car makers are in a race to make the best battery. One of those leading the race is Toyota, whose solid-state battery has finally hit the market. What is a solid-state battery? How is it better than the standard lithium-ion battery? And how far has Toyota come in developing its breakthrough? In this video, we bring you Toyota's solid-state battery that is finally hitting the market. If you take delivery of a battery electric vehicle today, you will most likely get a lithium-ion battery. The lithium-ion battery has become so prevalent in today's technologies that you find it everywhere. Your phone uses lithium-ion batteries, the same as your laptop and many other gadgets that you might not even think of right now. Lithium-ion batteries were a massive improvement over lead-acid batteries, and this is most evident in the electric car industry. Before Tesla showed the world what lithium-ion batteries can do by putting them in its first car, the Roadster, electric vehicles were severely limited in range, making them impractical. However, the Roadster showed everyone that an electric car, especially a high-performance one, could last more than 200 miles before it needed to be charged. Since then, the lithium-ion battery has seen lots of improvements, resulting in the procurement going down. However, the lithium-ion battery has its own set of problems that hold back EVs. Attempting to eliminate these issues is why battery scientists have been looking for the next big thing in the industry. And Toyota has found the very next big thing in batteries in the form of the solid-state battery. However, what are the lithium-ion battery problems that Toyota wants to solve with the new solid-state battery? It's important to know to fully appreciate Toyota's brilliant effort with the new battery. Lithium-ion requires higher protection. Lithium-ion batteries are not as sturdy as other kinds of rechargeable technologies. They need protection from getting overcharged and discharged to a great extent. Apart from this, lithium-ion batteries require maintenance within safe limits. Hence, to maintain these safe limits, every lithium-ion battery demands protection circuitry that is a significant disadvantage. It adds weight and increases the complexity and the cost. It also makes recycling very difficult. Lithium-ion batteries also weigh a lot. The battery can take up about one-third of the car's weight. This makes the tires wear out more quickly. The designers also have to balance the weight distribution in the car, something that complicates the development. Also, lithium-ion battery performance declines with time. Even though lithium-ion battery life is long-lasting, it never remains the same throughout its lifespan. The effectiveness and performance of lithium-ion batteries tend to decrease as time passes. In addition to this, lithium-ion batteries can also reduce their performance whether they are in use or not. Notwithstanding the usage, there is also a time-related factor to the decline in capacity. Another disadvantage of lithium-ion batteries is that they are not safe to use at higher temperatures. Lithium-ion batteries can become explosive and catch fire. This risk increases when an EV is involved in a car crash. On the other hand, very cold temperatures negatively affect lithium-ion batteries. The driving range drops significantly, especially where snow falls. For similar reasons, charging the battery takes longer in cold weather. However, perhaps the biggest drawback of EV lithium batteries is the cost. These batteries are expensive because of the materials used, especially in the cathode. Cobalt, nickel, and so forth cost a lot, and the supply chain fluctuates, leading to volatile prices. Battery prices are indeed falling, but they are still expensive. Enter the solid-state battery. As mentioned before, Toyota is not the only company working on solid-state batteries. For example, Samsung, yes, the same Samsung that makes the popular Galaxy line of phones, is involved in solid-state batteries. QuantumScape is also into solid-state batteries and has raised more than $1 billion in funding. It is supported by more than 17 investors. BrightVolt is another company deeply involved in solid-state battery development. Fisker made a lot of noise about solid-state batteries, but gave up the project. However, none of these companies have close to Toyota's speed or have recorded as many breakthroughs. But how does a solid-state battery work? Surprisingly, solid-state batteries have a lot in common 
with standard lithium-ion batteries. The only difference is that a solid-state battery consists of a solid electrolyte in place of a liquid electrolyte. Materials such as glass, ceramic, and more can be used for this purpose. A solid-state battery makes use of solid electrodes as well as solid electrolytes. The solid electrolytes include oxides, sulfides, phosphates, polyethers, polyesters, nitrile-based, polysiloxane, polyurethane, and more. The performance of the battery depends on the type of electrolyte used. Ceramics are suitable for rigid battery systems due to their high elastic moduli, while the low elastic moduli of polymers make them fit for flexible devices. How solid-state batteries work is similar to lithium-ion batteries. You have the anode and cathode made up of electrically conductive materials. An electrolyte is still present between the two electrodes that contain the charged ion particles. The lithium ions move through the electrolyte between the electrodes. This movement of charged particles in a particular direction produces current. When the ions move from the cathode to the anode, that is, from the positive electrode to the negative electrode, you are charging. Similarly, the movement of ions in the reverse direction, that is, from the anode to the cathode, discharges the battery and supplies the current to the load. So what does Toyota's solid-state battery offer? Its offerings are numerous, even though we told you the batteries are similar to standard lithium-ion batteries. Solid-state batteries are capable of delivering two and a half times more energy density as compared to lithium-ion batteries. This means for the same size battery size and mass, Toyota can significantly increase the driving range of its EVs. Toyota could be on its way to the first EV with more than 1,000 miles of range. Solid-state batteries are comparatively more durable and safe. This is because of the solid electrolyte used in solid-state batteries, which is non-flammable. Hence, they are less prone to catch fire. Apart from these, solid-state batteries are comparatively less expensive and compact. In addition, solid-state batteries are comparatively lighter in weight. As such, Toyota's cars will weigh less, allowing the battery to last even more miles on the road. Less mass means less energy consumed during operation. The recharge rate of solid-state batteries is four to six times more than regular batteries. This is a very important advantage because of one of the biggest complaints about EVs is the charging times. An average EV can take up to an hour to fully charge, and this could be a problem for drivers on longer trips who have to stop to refill the battery. It is also a sticky point for fleet operators whose time is literally money. However, solid-state batteries will allow Toyota to make cars that can charge in under 10 minutes, which is not so bad compared to internal combustion engine cars. So just how far has Toyota gone with its own solid-state battery? Very far, it's left all others behind. The Japanese company already has a working prototype running completely on its solid-state battery. In the video released by the company, you can see it is a version of Toyota's LQ concept, which first debuted at the 2019 Tokyo Motor Show as an AI and self-driving demonstrator. Since then, it's had a starring role in a series of commercials for the Tokyo Olympic Games. Thus far, it was simply reported to be a battery electric vehicle. However, in this release, it bears a large decal announcing it's all solid state battery. Far from a static model, the prototype was filmed driving down the road under its own power. Toyota's VP of Mobility Communications, Shiro Takimoto, explains that his company has obtained license plate registration for vehicles equipped with all solid-state batteries and conducted test drives. Toyota is already talking about the first cars to get the new solid-state battery. In an interview, Gil Pratt, Toyota's chief scientist and head of the Toyota Research Institute, said that the first Toyotas to receive the new batteries would actually be hybrids instead of fully electric vehicles. The company does have practical reasons for making the decision. In a hybrid, the smaller battery is charged and recharged far more often, and Pratt suggested that the increased amount of cycling for the batteries will make hybrids a good testbed for the new technology, so the battery will get even better before it's used in a BEV that you might buy.